against the producer. Hey, what's good YouTube? It's Cole the Man. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Now, before we start today's video, I want to go ahead and let you know right now, I just woke up off a couple hours of sleep, so if I sound weird, like my voice is really deep, that's why. So I want to go ahead and let you guys know that right now. But yeah, now today, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this new teleport glitch, as you can see in the intro. This dribble move gives you so much space, and let's just say, if you're a shot creator, GG to your opponent, GG to your defender, bro. Especially if you have limitless range, you know, this move gets you out behind the three-point line pretty far so if you have limitless range that's going to help a lot but before i start today's video i want to go ahead and tell you guys peter is the founder of this so his link will be in the description so make sure to go ahead and subscribe to him i found this video from him so of course make sure to go ahead and subscribe to him and of course if you're new to my channel make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button but anyways today i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this you know teleport hop step glitch but before we start it of course i gotta go ahead and show you guys all my signature style so let's go ahead and do that now if you guys want to know all my dribble moves you know how i do my moves with my shot creator go ahead and drop a like and let me know in the comment section i'll do a separate video for that but for this video the only two dribble moves you need in order to do this hop step glitch is elite two iso crossover and elite four behind the backs so you're only going to need those two and the last thing you need to do this move is normal 14 hop jumper. This hop jumper gives you a lot of space. It's almost like a little bunny hop, so make sure you have that equipped as well. So you're going to need those three signature styles equipped, and you're going to be good to go. So let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this move. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an example. I didn't get them the first time. I'm going to go ahead and try it the second time. Get open off that, stepping back, limitless range with a shot creator, and it's going to go ahead and drop. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So as you can see, the ball's in my left hand. Now what you're going to want to do is a momentum crossover into the behind the back. Now I'm going to try to keep it simple, you know, as simple as I can for you guys. So as you can see, the ball's in my left hand. All right, so... You're going to want to do the momentum crossover. All you guys know how to do the momentum crossover is simple. All right. So after you get done with the momentum crossover, the left stick is going to be pointing right. So you, what you're going to want to do is keep the left stick pointing to the right. All right. And while it's pointing to the right, all you're going to want to do is flip the right stick down for that awkward behind the back animation right here. So as you can see, I'm doing the momentum crossover into the behind the back, but it's an awkward animation. I'm doing it to the same side. I'm doing the momentum crossover too. And so after that, all you're going to want to do, as you can see after that animation, all you're going to want to do is tap square to the right side you're going. So I'm on the right side, so I'm going to tap square and I'm going to get this animation right there. Stepping back, pulling up, limitless range, and it's going to go ahead and drop. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another example right here. So as you can see, that's a cook. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys one more time. This guy don't know where he's going, bro. All right, so I'm going to slow it down for you guys, show you how to do this. So as you can see, the ball is in my right hand. So what you're going to want to do is a momentum crossover. It's simple. So once you do the momentum crossover, the left stick is going to be pointing towards the left side. So when the left stick is pointed towards the left, all you're going to want to do is flick the right stick down, and you're going to get this awkward behind-the-back animation like last time. So as you can see, I'm doing the momentum crossover into the behind the back. Now it looks awkward because I'm keeping the left stick pointed towards the left after the momentum crossover. And pretty much after that, all you're going to want to do is tap square and get that nice hop step animation. And you know what I'm saying? You're going to get a nice speed boost animation if he's playing up on you. So that's pretty much it, man. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. It's pretty simple, man. Let me know in the comments section if you guys already knew about this move. Not a lot of people knew about it. And uh, once again, all credit goes to Peter. Um, his link will be in the description. Like I said, go subscribe to him and tell him I sent you there. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already enjoyed the culture. But I'm going to catch y'all next time. I'm out.